bouncing around. That's cool. You reckon that was a, like a hood ornament or something? A truck? I can see some riding there on the back. You see that? Look at that. Look at that. Uh, look at that. Is that your first silver this year? Uh, no. First silver today. <laughs> well, it's about time. I just rolled this out of the hole right here. You see it? And that is going to be a silver quarter. 1941. All right. Well, Sandy came through for us. Got us a permission on a 1907 house. There's also a Catholic church on the property. Takes up about a half a city block. We'll be hitting it today. Well, my first hole turned up a almost a whole box of spent 22 shells. And now I'm over here at the church digging. Just a clad rosy. We'll dig on. Hole number three. Just another clad rosy. Dig on. All right, my love, what have you got? I found some sort of a, I don't know whether it was a pendant or a pin, and it says love on it. You want to show it? <laughs> I had it in my hand. Cool. Very nice. Yeah. Got a very crusty weedy. Can't really tell a date on it. I'm thinking maybe 1945-ish. Maybe. There it is. Big on. 44! Like 44. <laughs> so far, I think all we've got is some clad and a few weedies, but I just wanted you to look at this cool house. This is nice. If only I had a gazillion dollars. I could do something with it. This is beautiful. Well, my wife uh, has made an interesting surface find here. What'd you find, baby? Um, an old Peugeot. Peugeot. Puget. That's the West Virginia pronunciation. <laughs> Puget. So I'm here in the backyard of the house. The church is right there. It's the back of the church. Um, I dig this little fella. Um, of course, you know, my first thought was Han Solo frozen in carbonite, but no, that's obviously not it. Appears to be holding a child, maybe. Um, something is written on the back. Uh, I can't see what it says. Maybe you can see it on camera. I don't even know which way's up. Uh, it's difficult doing this one-handed. Um, but yeah, that's kind of cool. I don't know, you know if it's maybe a... A saint or some kind of token from the uh, church or a, a toy or I, I don't know but it looks like maybe holding a baby eh don't know saint frozen in carbonite cool. right, let's see what all you got here what it is the root pen or something mm -hmm. All these are Wheaties or have you got separated? Uh, all those are wheat, those are planted. I got two, four, six weeks, five weeks. Take that class of 83 out and show it to the camera. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to film it though. It's cool. Class of 83. All right. I can go with my love button. Yeah, my first decent find of the day is a Wheatie. I cannot tell the date on it, but I'm sure it'll come out on camera as long as the camera is focusing. I can't tell that either. There it is. All right, we're uh, in Ashford, West Virginia today, White Oak to be specific. This cabin behind me was built in 1835. It's the oldest structure in Boone County. And we're going to see what we find in here today. Well, it is September the 10th, 2017. Weather's finally broke. It is a balmy 63 degrees this morning. I'm heading out to meet Pool Tab. I'm not sure where we're going just yet, but uh, we're going. Hot dog. My first find of the day, after backtracking for a while, is my pinpointer. All right. 
All right, let's see what you got. It's not quite as silver-ish. Uh, what you got there? It's roundish. Roundish. It ain't silver though. That's your historical Budweiser cap, I think. What well, appears to be done. What the fuck it is? Yeah, it's got a paper shield on the inside of it. Stuff them boots don't make too close to hell. Yep. It's got riding on it. I don't know. It's a bottle cap though. Historical bottle cap. Not Probably Confederate. So Pull Tab and I are across the creek from the old school. You can see it right there. Uh, pull this out of the ground. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe a handle for something. Uh, it's old. Got any ideas? Let me know. Hey, right, just bear with me. I, I can't tell if I'm filming or not. Just dug my second ever axe head. Very cool. Very old. That makes me happy. I'm not sure what I've dug. Uh, I don't think it's old. And I, you know, I don't think it's Civil War. It is copper. It does have some writing on it. Uh, let's see if I can get it in the camera here. Um, a bunch of numbers. It does say copper right there. Uh, I don't know if I'm focused or not. Kind of hard to see with the sun as bright as it is but that's kind of cool i have no clue what that could be it's kind of fat in the middle and tapered towards both ends it's got uh, some holes all the way around it I have no clue well i just conferred with pull tab on that last what's it and what it is you see the telephone pole right there um is basically just a connector when you connect two pieces of wire together um, hopefully you can see those that are already uh, on the line there uh, it just kind of crimps crimps the lines together cool I could be completely wrong but this looks like uh, maybe some kind of pot lid or something uh, I, I don't know uh, it's just me guessing um, but it's old keep digging all right, I got a uh, just an old fired round. I uh, don't believe it's Civil War because it is a center fire. If you can see that. Um, it could be. I, I don't know. Uh, but I know that most of the rounds that we find out here that are Civil War are all rim fire. So, anyway, it's old, but it's I don't think it's too old. Dig on. I got a cool find. Uh, we find these out here. From time to time this is a printing press plate uh, of some kind uh, I have no idea um, but you can see the words there on it hopefully if I'm in focus uh, but like I said every now and then we run across these this one came out in several chunks and this is the biggest one so there you go well I'm working on this thing don't know what it is yet I'll show you when I get it out of the ground I'm hoping it's just a pot full of gold coins and if it is I am not going to work tomorrow. Well, that was a lot of work for nothing. I don't know what it is. It's a pot of some kind. Cap for something. I don't know. There it is. Whew. I put
put some flowers in it or something. 